More rated games. Welcome to Eddie against Jon Snow. Spanish war this time. We have Eddie in red and Jon Snow playing in green. Apparently um, both players don't like blue. I don't know. Um, but we've seen red against green a, a few times, I think. Mm, let's go for the maps here. Spanish war should be interesting. We expect to see monks, conquistadors and maybe even relatively fast imperial age times. Well, let's see what we have here. I'm assuming I can go fast in this game, uh, at least through feudal and uh, dark and feudal age. Main gold and main stone for Eddie. Really forward. Third gold outside. We see one relic close to his base. Second relic close to his base. Mm, boar inside for sheep. Yet to find second stone safe in the back. That's nice for him. Extra berries close to the to the deer, so he might even decide to mill the berries in the back here. And um, not sure what this is about. Um, but the walls here, villagers cannot escape anymore. Maybe he does not want the villagers to go around and therefore spilling a few walls here. Of course, it saves time, so actually smart play, like it. Um, otherwise, what do we have? We have second, second gold safe in the back, uh, but no extra resources on the map. Not the best, not the worst, I guess. Not enough gold in it for, for me, so Eddie might need to go aggressive here or may uh, need to get a castle around the stone and gold. I think a castle in between, maybe a little bit forward would be a very nice uh, thing for Eddie to, to do to get. And of course, he can lure the deer in if he wants to, and this is what's happening. So, um, Eddie should have an, an, a good time playing this map. I think it's alright. Let's go for Chin Snow's map. Two relics inside. This is awesome already. I had a boar outside apparently, but four deer inside a main stone, not really in a good position, not in a bad position either. Uh, second stone is outside with the main gold for Chin Snow, very safe in the back. This is awesome. Uh, second gold safe in the back. Extra gold, extra stone on this map, in which he can see actually scouted it, very nice. And only third gold quite far away, but he won't uh, need it for quite some time. Uh, there is an extra gold on the right hand side. We've seen all the extra resources, we've seen pretty much everything there is to see, I, th I think. Of course, Jon Snow getting the deer in. I think Eddie probably lured them all, uh, in already. Yep, there we go. And Eddie is the first one up to fuel age 27 population. Looks like Jon Snow going 28. And therefore, 26 seconds behind or 28 seconds behind. Uh, that's all right. So, both players are relatively similar build order up to now, I guess. Um, but now, three villages in stone, three villages in gold for Eddie. And do we have the same thing? Almost the same for Jon Snow. Only two villages in gold. But Jon Snow got the gold in that he needs. Of course, nobody's done loom. And fuel age for both players. Eddie doing the market and blacksmith walling the right hand side. Side. Very nice to see Jon Snow getting the mark and blacksmith pretty forward actually. And uh, both players will be able to get a castle up. The question is, what are they gonna do after that? Do we see conquistadors and monks? Do we see conquistadors only? Uh, which can be very strong, maybe for. Uh, are you also g gonna? Yes. Uh, Ah, no, they're talking about football, I guess. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, Gunners, that's uh, that's Arsenal. Best topic ever. Or maybe it's something different. It's the best topic ever. Amazing. I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe you know. Um, both players are on the way to Castle Age. Looks like Jens now lost a little bit of time here. 30 population for him. Not getting a house up. And he is going to be housed here. Uh, if he's not paying attention, this is not good. Only now the house coming up, and there we go. Too late. Monastery coming up for him, and he's got enough stone to build a castle. Don't really like this, but looks like he wants to get a second castle up as uh, soon as possible, or maybe want to make sure that uh, he can get more stone in. And uh, Eddie right now got the castle in front of the main gold, somewhat in between those resources. Getting a monastery up, the first conquistador is on the way. Mm, Jon Snow, same thing, conquistador bridge is starting. And both players uh, seem to go into uh, the castle age fight. Mm, first uh, relics being taken by Eddie, of course. Uh, I think we've seen all the relics. There's two more. Maybe I didn't show you this one in the middle, but I think Eddie should be able to get this one as well. So it's going to be two relics for Jon Snow, which are in the monastery now. And we're going to see three for Eddie. And uh, Eddie got four conquistadors in the field already. Jon Snow, it's three, I guess. Yeah, and the monk. And uh, Jon Snow seems to go a little bit more eco uh, based, uh, going for a TC on the main gold. And we might see a TC come up on the second gold as well very soon. Or maybe, you know, the stone is outside, it's not a good uh, TC position. Eddie getting the second and third relic in. And we uh, might see TCs for Eddie as well. No, it doesn't look like it. A lot of gold in the bank. 
tank is getting a lot of villagers here. This looks to me like uh, buying the way to Imperial Age and uh, we're gonna keep an eye on the market price, maybe food 130. Uh, but I think this should go up really fast uh, once Eddie is starting to think about Imperial Age. And he's not producing any more Conquistadors, it's 5 against 5, uh, plus a monk here for um, for Chen Snow. Now uh, also the, the scout is there, Eddie's scout is here. And Eddie doing Sanctity, I guess he bought some food already. Price on 135, yeah, there we go. And he's buying more food, 140. Uh, looks like it's gonna go to Imperial relatively fast now. Maybe even selling stone, that's a possibility. And of course uh, relying on those three relics. And Imperial Age for Eddie will come in very soon now while Chen Snow is getting his eco in shape. Second TC, third TC as expected on the wooden gold. So um, this is uh, definitely the 3TC versus 1TC play and Eddie is on the way to Imperial Age already. Um, the question is what is he going to do now? He's still staying with a lot of villages on gold. Three on stone, so I'm not sure if he's going for a second cast in early imp. Maybe just stay on the one and try to get more conquistadors out or maybe go for monks. We do see the second monastery, so it looks like monks to me, and a few conquistadors uh, behind that, let's call it like this. Mm, Eddie also walling on the side here with a few houses, uh, totally walling himself in, wants to make sure that he's not going to be surprised by Jon Snow, by some, let's say, conquistador plus petard action. Uh, Jon Snow in the meantime got a lot more conquistadors than Eddie, Eddie is uh, good on the monk numbers, and he may start to convert very soon now, sending a villager to build another monastery, but he should cancel it, not sure if he's doing that. Uh, starting to convert a few Kongs. Mm, the monastery is staying alive, interesting. And uh, Eddie using all his resources, of course, and uh, he knows how to do this. Uh, he's a master in this uh, uh, one TC and then go relatively fast in Pure Age. Um, monastery now coming up in the back, and uh, Eddie just waiting for Imp. Uh, gonna be before 25 minutes, yeah. Uh, very strong Pure Age time, actually. And uh, has a good amount of conquistadors and a uh, good amount of monks here. Another monastery coming up. So he's uh, getting going on gold with a lot of villagers. He's not taking his second gold um, yet, but he probably is going to do that soon. And uh, because we only have three, 800, that's 1100, that's 18, 2200 gold left. And he's doing block printing and he's going to go for these conquistadors now. Also illumination coming in expected order. And Jon Snow with 58 villagers getting a second castle up, but I don't think that's a really good idea because Eddie is going to come traps. Um, we so the, do see the first trebuchet uh, on the way for uh, uh, for Eddie being created. Siege workshop for Jon Snow as well, um, but again, he can't really do too much with that. And I think he needs to go to Imperial Age now, which he cannot do because he is missing a lot of food here. And uh, he's still producing a lot of conquistadors. The way is actually not Imperial Age, but uh, stay in Castle Age and fight. The uh, question is how long can the castle survive? Because Eddie is still a good conquistador number, and now there might be a fight happening. Chen Snow is going out, but Eddie can see this with a lot of range in the monks. And he's starting to convert. That's one conquistador converted. I guess two. And a lot of them going down as well, taking the fight here, Chen Snow. Uh, but both on plus one defense, and the monks still alive and healing the conquistors. This is helping a lot, actually. Chen Snow trying to micro, trying to do his best. But Eddie can convert once again, and Chen Snow is losing all his units here. Eight military units against 15. Eddie got the first uh, triple chase out. Uh, Ram moving forward, but there are still seven conquistors. They can take down a Ram re really fast. And uh, those five conquistors won't be enough. Chen Snow, nowhere near Imperial Age, of course, still creating conquistadors as fast as he can. But Eddie now using the villagers to repair, losing the conquistadors to take down the siege. And the monks, where's the monks gone? There's a few that were trying to convert, but Eddie is sending them back. And uh, those si two siege workshops are down. This is 400 wood uh, and at least uh, 350 more wasted on uh, siege workshop and the ramps. Now Eddie is starting to attack this castle. Still more conquistadors for Chen Snow, but he's no answer against the monks. Uh, people sent me tips, amazing. <laughs> I guess maybe Chen Snow was streaming this game, I don't know. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous to, to tell a player in-game what to do uh, when he's still like uh, 2k, 2k plus, and most of the uh, viewers definitely are not that, uh, that strong. Maybe it was a spectator. And uh, last fight maybe, um, before Transnoy is losing all his army here, trying to um, 
can keep this castle up, but it's just not calling GG. He's losing too many units. Uh, the Conquistador Monk combination from Edith too strong in this game. Uh, very nice one here, a strategy win, I guess. Or maybe John Snow should have uh, gone for only one castle and up to Imperial Age just a little bit later than Eddie. This could have worked, but still very nice to see. I hope you enjoyed this game and see you in the next one. GG.